All right, guys, um, I'm making a video. Uh, this is kind of to help me learn an aspect that I'm kind of having problems with, and that's the holes. Now, I, I realize this, some of this is jumping ahead in where I am at the, in the series and all that, but um, I kind of want to document this. Um, and that's the holes that I punch into the leather. Um, yeah, you can see them pretty good there. Um, what I thought I would do is I would use the um, gusset. I don't know if this is considered a gusset or a welt. Um, I've heard it referred to as several different things, so I, I'm not sure on the terminology there. But so you, all you're going to see is this edge. But I struck my line down here with my dividers. Well, a line groover, basically. And um, so then I took my hole punch and followed it. And it went really good. I, I liked how that turned out. It was a pretty straight line all the way through, all the way to the end. Um, so I, I like how that turned out. But the problem is, is I decided to use this then as my template. And so I took these and I marked the side. So on this side, this is the grain side, I put grain. On this side, um, which is the leather side, I put F. And then on these, so I kept them on the same side of the gusset that I was supposed to you just match up F to F so what I did is I laid this down I laid this one down since that's what I used as a template and when I put it down and then I punched the holes using this as a template punched right through here and into the bottom part um, so then what happened is even though I tried my best to hold the tool straight up and down, the leather has thicknesses. It's got some areas where it's thicker or it's more dense, and then there's areas where it's not as dense. Um, which creates the tool that as it goes through, it bounces around a little bit. And so up here, it does pretty good. I mean, I, I, I like the way that turned out for those holes and stuff. Then when you get down here, you start to develop a problem. If you can see it, right in here, the holes are mismatched in where they're at. And like over on this side, it gets really close to that edge. Um, I think what I should have done, and what I'll do next time, is I'll score that edge just like I did on this one. And then I'll take this, lay it down and then take a pen and put dots at each one of the holes and then follow that all the way down and then when I'm all done I can lay this piece down on the bench and then do my punching and then I can keep it all lined up but I can see the spacing of the holes and where they're going to be at because of the pen mark from this and I'm still using this as my template um, instead of just laying this down and using this and trying to punch through this and then punch through that, um, I think that's going to do better because if you get on these, um, you can kind of see right there at that edge, it gets really, really thin. And that's what I did on that because it gets really, really thin um, on that. So it's not as thick there, but it gets thinner here. And that's going to be a problem up here. Um, the lacing will hold. I'm definitely going to glue this part down. Um, but that, that eventually will cause a problem. Um, in fact, you can see it's already kind of ripped through there. So um, that's what I'm going to have to do in the future. I'm going to try that. I've done other ways. This is the third time I've done a leasing project. So I've done other ways. And um, they've given me a little bit of problems too. They're not as lined up as what I want it to be as the holes go down the project. On um, the first time I did it, I just guesstimated, oh, this is about an eighth of an inch and I did it. 
<coughs> Sorry about that, guys. And then um, my next project I did, I, I, I did a little bit better, and then I did a little bit better, and then I did a little bit better. Um, I might be just getting too hard on myself, but um, I kind of like doing that just because it, it forces me to make even a better product than what I am at this point of time. Um, I want to, I, I think the best though is to mark it out, do that, um, punch the holes in the first piece, use that piece, to dot the holes into the next piece and then do my line. And then I just stick to that line and I can match up with those holes because there's no way without being really perfection that these holes are going to be symmetrical on both sides. That's, I, I realized that I tried my hardest to get that symmetrical. Um, and it's just not going to turn out. It's the spacing, the way the leather is and all that. Um, for the most part it is, but it gets too out of whack. So that's, that's my next project. Um, that's kind of one of the things that's been frustrating me about lacing project. I really like the lace look. Um, I think it does look awesome. I, I think it, it adds a very beautiful edge. Um, but I got, I got to get better at it. And that's one of the things that doing these little projects here and there and making my own stuff first and then bouncing that off with maybe doing something for a customer. Well, right now I do stuff for customers for free. So I get the learning experience. Um, that'll help me out that I think that's going to be the best way to do it though. In the long run is our next lacing project. It's going to be where I mark it out, punch the one piece out, then take that piece, lay it on top of my other piece that I'm putting together and Dobbing holes through it with a pen to mark it on the other side. Then lay out my one eighth inch line with my dividers, and um, then follow that line because I do a really good job. It's great up here and on the first project. I mean, I liked it. They came out great, but when it transfers. It starts to wander because I'm going through the parts. So I want to just document that so later down the road I can look back at this and say, okay, that's what I did this time. Um, then I can also later down the road, I'll document when I get a really good piece that I really like and how I did that. And um, that's just going to better me and make a better project. So that's what this week's video is going to be about. I really liked it. It's come out. It's come out pretty good. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of jumping around in the videos. I'm getting kind of further on the build. Um, so, for right now though, I want to kind of document the lacing part of this aspect um, and getting that all straight. I do like the idea where I wrote G, and then I can just match it to the sides like this one's f so i know that or this one's g sorry and then this side's g so g and g go together and i and i know instantly that this is the way it's going to be um i've also thought about the next project maybe making a straight line template and then just punching through that template and going through there the only problem is is then i would get up into this area where you can kind of see I had problems on this one. That's why everything started really getting kitty wampus on me. Um, so then maybe make a template and do the template. And then I could just transfer the template and keep the sides together like I did there. I think overall though, my look's going to be pretty good. Because this would be basically the one side. And then you're going to have the dark tan. And then this, so that's what the, like the rabbit hide is going to look like going up into this. But then the coloring is going to be all the way up on the sides will be this. And then in the center where I've got the runic writing here, 
um, it, it's going to be antique. Show that part out. I think it's coming along pretty good. Um, I definitely know places I need to improve though. So I'm definitely going to work on that. Thanks for watching the video guys. Um, like I said though, this is documenting. So I know what I did this time. What I'm planning on doing later down the road so my next project becomes even better. And I will eventually get extremely good, hopefully, someday. Alright, have a good one, guys. See ya.